both of my parents have degrees in Chinese, so it was an easy choice for me. Um, and I wanted to know more about China. So I wanted to do a first degree in Chinese, and I had just spent a year actually teaching at Renda Fudong in Beijing um, before I went to Cambridge to start studying. Um, and then we studied classical Chinese and modern Chinese, and I specialized in modern Chinese literature. We often talk about modern Chinese literature as being new and very different, but in fact, a lot of the innovation, as we now think more, happened in the late Qing. And so I was interested in the development of novels in that period before the westernization. So the questions of genre are interesting. Uh, in the Jiang Hui Xiaoshuo, so you've got inserts of song and poetry and all sorts of, in that Suzhou novel, uh, Qing Meng that I was talking about, you have all sorts of different texts coming into the novel. You have a little drama play and you have um, a lots of discussion of ping and zi, the tones and that kind of thing. I'm really enjoying reading some, a variety of modern novels in translation. Obviously it's better to read in Chinese and if I had time I will some good translators like Nikki Harmon and other people have done lots of translation works. Translations are great for that. So having new modern Chinese uh, fiction in translation um, is, a, is, you know, is great for, for general readers. Because there was this huge growth in China studies um, in the 1990s and 2000s when China was opening up economically and there was uh, you know, a lot of people very interested in studying Chinese. Um, those of us who either teach or study Chinese abroad, we're interested in, you know, every aspect of China. And I really do think that Sinologists are useful to China as well, because they help the rest of the world understand China in a way that is locally contextualized to their own, but from a place of caring about China and its future and its people and its literature and its culture. So Sinologists have invested their lives in studying China, so they care about um, China being correctly represented to foreign students and foreign media, and, and China being understood and not misunderstood, because we know that misunderstandings are dangerous. So one thing that people who really read Chinese understand China better